Hi all, uh, my name is Khaled Moon. Uh, I'm an international photographer and cinematographer. Um, today I'm going to be making my first ever video tutorial for photography online. I had a photo shoot a couple of weeks ago for a brand. Um, what happened was I was shooting for the first time with the A7R2. I thought it would be a good idea to bring a three meter long tethering wire and connect up to the MacBook and shoot. However, when we started shooting, an image wouldn't come through for a good 15 minutes. So I gave up on the tethering process, what I normally do. And I had to start shooting uh, using the back viewfinder. At the time, it was a brilliant idea and it worked fantastic. Till earlier in the week, I loaded the images up and I realized the white is not white, it's gray in the background. So today I'm going to show you a quick fix for this problem. First of all, you shortlist your images, you know which images you want to edit. Uh, we start off in Lightroom and what we're going to do is we're going to create a virtual copy of this image. So before I go ahead, I've set my background color in Lightroom to white. The reason why I left it to white, not dark gray or medium gray or anything like that is because I want true white. So this is true white now and I'm going to create a, I'm going to select it on the bottom and I'm going to create a virtual copy. On the virtual copy I want you to blow out the white so I'm going to be going here on this panel and dragging the whites to 100%. So what now you, what you can see is a white seven on white, she's overexposed, don't worry about that and yeah it looks it looks good for the background. So then what we're going to do is we'll go back to, to the first image, we're going to press shift and we'll select both images then we're going to right click on them and go to Photoshop. In a sec second you see a pop up and um, this version of Lightroom may require Photoshop camera roll plugin. Uh, for, I'm going to just click uh, render using Lightroom. It should be, uh, it should open up anyway because it's, it's, a, it's a new update I'm using on the Photoshop. So it's preparing the files for editing. Um, one point I'm going to make to you is that um, make sure you have enough memory on the hard drive you're working on because some of these TIFF files can, can skyrocket to some crazy uh, memories such as 400-500 megabyte uh, image. So first of all I've selected the overexposed image. and I've pasted the overexposed image onto the background. So this is the overexposed one and underneath we've got the correct exposure image. So first of all what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on the magic wand tool and I'm just going to select the areas that I need and then I'm just going to control plus, zoom into the areas, see which areas are covered. I'm, I'm holding shift on my, on my uh, keyboard as well so that I can select these other areas. So shift again my tolerance is on 20, I'm going to actually increase it to 30. 30 tolerance is pretty fine. And then we have got a nice clean uh, lasso of that. And you can see the ants going around the, the image. So that's brilliant. Next step, what I need to do is I need to go to select, modify, and feather. So this might change per camera. Um, I'm using a 42 megapixel camera, so for me 8 pe uh, pixels feathering works. Whereas if you're using a Canon 6D for example, it might be 4 pixels because the resolution is half the resolution. And then I'm going to click OK. So that's feathered the outside, so when I blend both the images together, it's going to be softer on the edges, you're not going to get harsh edges. Next step, I'm going to go down to the layers palette and click on the mask tool. I've clicked on the mask tool, it's made a mask automatically and now the moment of truth we're going to zoom into the image at different points and if we zoom into the face can you see the edging there, can you see how nice and neat that is and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a different point in, oops, oops, got carried away, I'm going to the, ha go in the hands and the clothes and you can see that is clean so that is the result that we want Okay, so it so that to me looks spot on. I'm gonna save that. 
okay in the other one I'm just gonna close that because we don't need that it's gonna just waste our memory and RAM so it might take a bit of time for you to save it because it's quite a large image now okay that image is saved I'm gonna close that as well in there and I'm gonna go back into Lightroom so could not ex uh, export the clipboard because it was too big file oh, we don't need the clipboard anyway because we've done our pasting anyway so we're going back to Lightroom and in a second we should have another image um, with the correct exposure we were first clicking on images that were the wrong exposure so now you can see we've got an image that is perfect we've got no highlights blown the exposure is right and that is perfect for the catalog then what I might just do is I might just recrop it uh, for the website so it might be a crop like that that might be for their website and that's how you get a clean background in Photoshop for catalog or product photography um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial um, if you want to see more tutorials like this just subscribe down below and yeah just send me a request in and if there's a problem that I can sort out for you um, I'll make a video about it thank you